Comedian Jim Carrey blasted Will Smith's behavior towards Chris Rock and was sickened by the standing ovation the actor received after winning Best Actor for his performance in King Richard should have been escorted out of the ceremony. He told CBS Gail King, I was sickened by the standing ovation. Hollywood is just spineless in mass, and it really felt like this is a really clear indication that we aren't the cool club anymore. While Rock has declined to press any charges against Smith, he's seen his ticket sales skyrocket uh, since the incident. <laughs> so he's, uh, you know, got a lot of, lot of sympathy, a lot of support for Rock. I mean, that's how I feel. That's how, you know, a lot of people feel. But I think at minimum, I don't know why Will Smith's Academy Award wasn't taken away at minimum. Uh, I mean, if they're not going to press charges, I guess fine. We all saw what happened. It's on tape. He assaulted Chris Rock in public on camera. We watched it happen. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess they uh, might, the only... they could still, right? They're reviewing it. They might decide to, I don't know. They right. should they... have done it right away. Yeah, they might. I, I actually think that the artist should not be punished for the, the art should not be punished for the behavior of the artist and, and even the artist necessarily shouldn't be punished. In other words, he won the Oscar for- That's fair, I can get on board with that. For his performance in King Richard. And if they think that it was that great, then he should get that dis right. despite whether he's a creature offset. I, th you know, I, th I you okay, know, I, I could go know. with that. I could yeah, go I with that. Like he should have been kicked out done. immediately. The security right. should have come up and yeah. be like, "Hey, we're looking for yeah. somebody who came on stage and just <laughs> tall guy. You might know what he looks like. Show his picture. Slap <laughs> our MC. Yes. You see, oh, it was you. Yeah. Please yeah. come, come with me, sir. Like they should have deprived him of the ability to speak that night and give his speech. I agree with you, Ryan. Now that you you pointed yeah. out, you're right. He probably still should have won the award, fine. Yeah. You know, he did it, he, he did a good job. Uh, I thought it was a great movie myself. But they should have absolutely denied him the glory, right. the opportunity to stand up there, to give thanks, to get that standing ovation. He should have been out of there. Unless he was gonna make some serious apology, which instead he didn't. He didn't apologize really to, to Chris Rock. He did not apologize he to Chris Rock. He has subsequently, but. And he did the yeah. domestic abuser thing of uh, love makes you do crazy things, which right. is just the absolute worst thing you could say in that moment. Like that, yeah. and like, and like yeah. you're trying to be a better Christian type stuff that just felt exploited. Maybe it is I don't know. Know. It's religion just, in some way. I thought you know but, it's just so yeah. sad because Will Smith just has always had that you know, it, you know. We, I think so many of us always looked up to Will Smith and thought he was one of the yeah. good guys and you know just a, a kind person, funny person, and then to see him do this and then yell at Chris Rock, it was just very. I think for so many of us, shocking because it's like that's not the Will Smith we all thought we knew. Well, to to me, the the most revealing thing has been not the act itself, but the reaction to it. Like so, so many young people, in particular, are are just certain that it was entirely appropriate for Will Smith to have done what he did. And there's a real right. Kind of divide. There's a real divide there that I think is that I think is telling beyond just fun kind of takes about the, a, sh a genuine shift that's going on in our in our culture. Okay, Twitter data indicate that most of the country supports Chris Rock after the slap. A map mm -hmm. released Tuesday by the sports gambling company BetOnline.ag uh, shows 41 states support Rock in the very public drama, while nine states are firmly in Smith's camp. They did this by geotagging tweets that showed support for Rock and Smith, respectively. Take, also take that with a grain of salt. You mess right. up your geotagging or you mess up your sentiment and you don't catch sarcasm or whatever. You can, you can right. blow those right. analyses. Right. But more, it's like, an interesting map, yeah. though. I mean, yeah, I, I thought that the liberal states would be the ones like, well, Will Smith was in the right because he made fun of his wife's alopecia. Uh, so, and, and I think that's to your point, Ryan, when you say younger people are kind of like, well, mm -hmm. it was, it was right. right because I think we're kind of in this era where... You know, I know with my with younger people that I've been around, they think, especially during Trump years, that it was totally fine and justified to hit Nazis, right? Like punch right. Nazis in the face. So somebody who's bad, who's who's making right. fun of somebody who is disadvantaged in some way or has something, you know, like alopecia, then that person deserves to be punched in the face. Apparently, maybe yeah. that is a although you could make the case sentiment. if you go back far enough, it would be the it would kind of be a conservative being like. Well, yeah, if you insult someone's in a sort of honor culture way or a chivalry way, right? It's, it's raw. It, yeah, of course, someone who belittles your, your wife, that's how you, you should respond. And it's, uh, yeah, look at, so looking at this map, the, 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 the pro Will Smith states are like, what is it, Georgia? Um, no, Georgia's not. 
Well, not oh, wait, Georgia. No. Oh, South, Alabama. Right, South, Alabama, South Carolina. Mississippi. Um, Oklahoma. Nebraska, Missouri, yeah. Iowa, uh, Arkansas. And yeah. is that Vermont? Which one's Vermont? Or is that New Hampshire? That's New Vermont's Hampshire. I can never left. tell. Which one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which one's which? <laughs> New Hampshire's on the right. So some of these, some of these that are southern states, you know, have significant um, African American populations, and from what I'm seeing on Twitter, I mean, I, like this is not scientific at all. I'm seeing a lot of Twitter users of color on the pro Will Smith side mm -hmm. of this. Like, for instance, Zoe Kravitz has been trending all morning because she criticized Will Smith. She's pro Chris Rock. She was criticizing Will Smith, and then she's been trending because people are attacking her. Wow. for criticizing Will Smith. Like there's all this stuff that they're trying to serve as that, like accusing her of being, uh, it goes back to your everything's about pedophilia radar from the other day, Kim. Like they're accusing her of that because like she said that, like she liked Jaden Smith, who's Will Smith's son, was like good looking when he was 14 or something. Oh my gosh. So it's, it's, a, it's a nasty world out there anyway, but. Um, there's also a class. But you know, yeah. It's interesting that this is divided racially, if that's the case, because both men are black. I mean, this isn't a black-white issue right. at all. I think it's well, because also... the, they're viewing the victim as as Jada Pinkett Smith, a black woman. Oh, right. I think oh, that's I how see. they're viewing it. Okay. There's so also and, 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 and by they, I mean, there's clearly, there's significant people of all races on all sorts of difference. It is by of no course, means no. unanimity, but I'm seeing some of that sentiment shared by people of color on Twitter. Sorry to interrupt you. No, no, I feel like there's also, you're, you can see on Twitter and elsewhere, like there's also a class layer to it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like uh, if I would, back when I used to be working class, I, I think if I'd have been watching this, I'd be like, yeah. I would have been like, yeah. Well, we, we know well, you've been in a, a, a brawl or two over now, your, uh, your <laughs> life, Ryan. And, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm in a new world now. And, uh, yeah. Now you're a respectable <laughs> television host. So. But I also, I, also, I also genuinely have come to terms in my life that, that, that violence is not an answer. Like, that, you know, this was like such that's a, a genuine thing. evolution I've gone through. Well, and a, 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 clearly Will Smith went in the opposite direction as he got older. Uh, but what was or weird about this was... I mean, because he he himself condemned Will Smith, right? Like yeah, but he he uh, laughed at it at first, right. and then he looked over at his wife, and she had like angry face. Yeah. And so then he went up there and violence is just to, embarrassing. You look embarrassing right. later. It's not a it's not satisfying in a vengeance standpoint. You need like long term Monte Cristo style revenges, where like years later right. you <laughs> bankrupt their family. I, I, I won't get into although my he also of killed revenge, them, but. but I, well, I think, think he causes them to kill themselves or something. Yeah. It's uh, no I'm still one... in the camp that thinks this whole thing was a. It was just a way to get ratings for the Oscars, and they've just devolved <laughs> into Jerry Springer antics to try to get viewers. I, I to me, it's just so bizarre, bizarre behavior. Yeah. I, I, it just seemed so staged. I mean, people are like, no, that was real. Look at them, and I was like, Will Smith is. A, oh, he just won the Oscar for the best actor. So. Clearly, he knows what he, you know, he knows how to act. Right. So you can I completely stopped watching them. I, I don't watch them anymore. I don't, they, they reward movies that, that like no one likes or sees. <laughs> it's, it's, they don't, they don't reward the movies people actually like. Like the, they, they disdain, they look down on the superhero movies and all that. I actually yeah. like those movies. Those are the most they popular movies. They need a superhero movies. category. What? They need a superhero category. They no, do. they should just, they, they should just, they all do. the superheroes should, uh, stuff should win all the uh, actual, uh, actual <laughs> awards. Yeah, there, I said it. Well, I, I thought that Will Smith did do a fantastic job in that movie. I cried in that movie. He made me cry. You know, I thought it was a really good, uh, but... But um, so, uh, yeah, I think he's a really excellent actor. But I don't know. How many people do you think actually think this was staged like I do? Oh, no, it, I don't think it was staged. Like, really, I, I would have it thought it was staged. But then the, when he, yell, he yelled the F word at, at Chris Rock afterward, from the, from, that's when it was, I thought, clearly not staged. Before that, I would have said, yes, it looks staged. Uh, because Chris Rock's reaction was actually so good that he like he didn't yeah. freak out. But then it, that was genuine anger, I think. That was not staged when uh, mm -hmm. when Will Smith yelled at him afterward. And, and also, you, with all of these conspiracy theories, you have to go back to the who's benefiting. It's and not who's, a conspiracy who's pe theory. Who's, who's pe <laughs> well, the conspiracy would be that it was planned ahead of time. Well, and I mean, they me, do that all like, the time. Why, what incentive does Will Smith have to drag himself through this situation just to boost the uh, he probably uh, ratings thought, of the of the academy, which 
No, but he probably thought because he's defending his wife's alopecia and he probably thought because of the way the the climate is right now, you know, with, as you mentioned, younger kids well, he, I mean, are like, he was yeah. Right. He, he is getting a lot of support. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, no, I, I don't think it did fit the theme of the movie. Nobody's watching the Oscars. I think this was like their last ditch effort to stay on television. Next year, they're probably going all online because nobody watches. So this was it. They had to go Jerry I hope Springer. So. I hope that happens. <laughs> I want to watch them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we will have more rising after this. I don't know if this is our lap, uh, last slap segment, but uh, I think it might be. It might, it might just be, or this would be like a Joe Rogan thing where we just revisit the slap from various angles for. Too uh, bad for I can't like smack, smack. It doesn't work. I can't oh, you can't hit you like your your hands yeah. don't appear. I'm on over screen. here, right? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't work. You guys yeah. are safe. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad Ryan's not a not a brawler anymore. Yep. So I'm just this a, is a man of peace now. This is a safe working environment. <laughs> All right, more rising after this.